we have covered most of the areas, but of course, the study was basically on secondary data, which is available with us. There was no field uh, study except few case studies we have obtained. Uh, so in future, we would like to do more of uh, uh, in-depth studies in the field because depending, someone was asking whether uh, this is only actual implemented data or uh, only promised data. There could always be difference between promise and fact. So, uh, and also the data is mostly the government data. So, uh, normally people have a lot of suspicion about the government data. So, we would like to uh, do in future uh, our own data collection so that we would be able to give a better uh, uh, picture of, the, of what is happening in the field. Uh, of course, uh, most of the problems uh, in uh, Telangana, the, particularly the spatial distribution of investment and all, comes because of the flight of capital from that area uh, up to around 2006 uh, because of the uh, left-wing extremism. A lot of capital has flown to Hyderabad and surrounding areas which were relatively uh, safer for investments. And in the districts, uh, because of the left-wing extremism, not much has happened. And uh, today, though uh, left-wing extremism is not so much prevalent, uh, still the investors basically have moved out. That is, the uh, capital has migrated. And for the people to go back to those places and invest, there is a need for a lot of uh, effort to be made. And also, conscious policy making is also required. So that is uh, what uh, has been also indicated by our president. And uh, we hope the government would be able to do it. Because just TSI pass, just relaxing the, uh, the procedures and other things, may not help in having a uh, distributive justice. We still have, uh, particularly the North Telangana area, is still quite backward in industrialization. And uh, unless we do the industrialization there and create employment, people still migrate to the urban areas and we will have a lot of uh, associated issues. So that is uh, one uh, aspect which has come up very clearly in this study. So we are also planning to take up more studies in, uh, uh, in a similar way. Particularly, we would like to study the impact of electricity on industry. Because this is one, uh, very, uh, one important uh, sector where we are having uh, problems. Then we are also uh, planning to study, because all of us are aware, being in Hyderabad, the impact of environment on the industrialization. Particularly, that is where we, there is a need to shift the industry from Hyderabad because Hyderabad is highly polluted. And unless uh, we, because even the government's plan to have another pharma park uh, uh, around Hyderabad, uh, near Ibrahim Patnam or so, is once again going to add to the pollution, but it's not going to reduce. So uh, perhaps there is need to take the uh, bulk drugs and all to some of the places like Nizamabad or uh, Karim Nagar and these places so that the, uh, the pollution and other things uh, can be reduced. So that will be another study which we would be making. Similarly, we also want to study in Andhra uh, uh, what was the impact of various partnership summits because uh, the, the Andhra Pradesh government has claimed that more than 10 lakh crores of investments have come during the last uh, partnership summit which was held in January. So we would also like to study uh, what is the real impact? So many partnership summits have taken place in Andhra Pradesh and in the combined Andhra Pradesh and also now uh, the separate Andhra Pradesh. Uh, similarly, uh, there were also similar partnerships, of course, they were, they, their names were different. Similar partnership summits in Gujarat, Karnataka. So we would like, like to compare with those uh, states and see where we, uh, how we have done and if there is anything which we can learn from the experience of those other states. Then another study which we would like to do uh, is the uh, employment potential, particularly because you have seen 
even some of the uh, uh, major industries also there was some employment but unless the mother industry comes around it other industries develop we will not have that much employment generated so we would like to maybe an extension of this study to see how uh, investment and employment are related and how we can uh, see that employment generation improves in these areas so all these things and of course uh, these are our our studies which we are proposing to do in the future uh, but we would also uh, like the government to concentrate on certain areas where uh, the industries have closed down for example in uh, nizamabad all of us know about the nizam sugar factory while new industry has not come what happened to the existing industry is that they have got closed with uh, impact on employment and other things same way in adilabad new industries have not come but uh, existing industry like sirpur paper mills sir silk and number of cement factories they have been closed uh, same way in karimnagar also uh, see we though we are calling them today as backward industry districts but at one time they were doing very well uh, industrially maybe even better than rangareddy uh, district but uh, over the period of time those industries have lost out and perhaps uh, uh, of course for our study it will be uh, difficult but maybe government will have to look into that and see uh, what can be done to either revive those industries of course every day we read in the newspaper even today also it was reported that they are trying their best to uh, revive the sirpur paper mills uh, but somehow once a new unit is closed to revive it and to create the similar type of employment it will take lot of uh, effort